So I wanted to take another look at Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. Because by all accounts, it seems like a pretty terrible movie. And I had a strong suspicion that the movie would be terrible after I watched the first trailer for the movie and noticed that the cast was way off. This is Leon Kennedy and Claire Redfield. Notice how they look nothing like their video game counterparts at all. At all. The casting for this movie, other than Chris Redfield, is awful. And, you know, I'm not trying to, I'm not, I don't have anything against the actors or actresses attached to this movie. You know, like anyone would take a paycheck and, you know, it's a, it's a gamble. This is a big franchise, so you might get something out of it. But the casting director or whoever grabbed all these people didn't do them any favors. This is going to hurt them. I would, I would suspect. Because anybody that watches this movie is going to have, it's going to leave a bad taste in their mouth. Leon and, and Claire, it's terrible casting. She looks like a wine mom. And I'm sorry, like, I, so this guy could have played a good Carlos, but a, a Leon, no. It's like they were going to put, it's like they, maybe they liked him a lot. They were going to have him play Carlos and they didn't have enough room for Carlos. So they cut him out of the movie and said, we'll just have you be Leon, even though that's not who Leon is. But that's the trend in Hollywood. We just change people, change characters, swap people in and out. Doesn't matter. Well, apparently, it did matter for this movie because it was dead on arrival. It made a grand total of five point seven million dollars. Well, for Friday. Now, the funny thing is, this t the title of this is actually kind of off because the movie came out on Tuesday of last week. So it actually was in the theater from Tuesday till now. Like usually a movie, why I'm, why I'm stressing that is usually a movie will come out on Thursday and then it'll have, you know, Thursday night previews. And then the actual release date is Friday. Resident Evil is like, well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to come out. We're going to come out Tuesday. First off, the movie should have came out in hollow, like around Halloween. That would have been a, a better time to release that movie. But even then, I don't think it would have helped. So you've got Scott Mendelson with the creepiest photos in Hollywood. I don't know why somebody doesn't tell this guy to change his profile pictures. But he he's the biggest shill in Hollywood, and he's saying the movie's DOA. Uh, the the grand total for this movie at the moment, according to Deadline, as of I think, yeah, yesterday. Oh no, today. Sorry, today is thirteen point nine million, <laughs> which is awful. Awful. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. It's in fifteen markets right now too. So. Uh, 5.1 million international weekend and a total of 13.9 million. Now I heard the movie was like $50 million budget. I don't know if that's a hundred percent accurate as cheap. So odds are it will make some of its, no, actually, I don't know. Do you think this movie will make 50 million? <laughs> what a, what a terrible what a terrible uh, outcome for Resident Evil. How do you how do you mess this up? Like, is it that hard to just make a horror movie about zombies in a mansion? <laughs> you know, is that such a difficult thing to do? I mean, the first game kind of lays out the story pretty damn well. A uh, special forces team goes into a mansion, gets locked in there. Well, actually, no, they can't leave because, like, killer dogs were circling the mansion. So, you yeah, have to go in there and and solve the mystery of the mansion or what. I mean, it's, it's kind of straightforward <laughs> plot. But, yeah, they keep fucking it up. I don't know how they can do that. I'm not a fan 
of the original Resident Evil movies. They didn't follow the games. They're big action movies. I don't understand why you can't just do a scary uh, thriller type of Resident Evil movie. It blows me away that they've managed to screw this up over and over again. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make fun of this stupid movie because I think it's hilarious that they just keep getting it wrong. <laughs> you manage to have like 18 Resident Evil games, but you can't make one decent movie. Come on. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out.